Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG48, and welcome back to The Infected. All right, you guys are hyped. I can tell. <laughs> you know what? I'm hyped too, man. Let's make some more videos, man. I'll make freaking videos for days. I love this game. This update has really improved the game uh, quite a bit, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm having a great time with it. Uh, you know, it's I, I in the beginning I was like, ah, it's it's, it's kind of grindy. You know, like it's gotten it's gotten grindy and everything, and it kind of has. But I'm having fun with it. And if you do things in the proper order and the proper way things go a lot smoother okay now what i'm looking at right now is i want to get lots of uh wooden planks and lots of iron I i'm gonna make the extractor today uh with unless there's some unforeseen thing that's gonna keep me from making the extractor i don't see what that could be um i'm gonna need 20 iron ingots for the extractor and i have every intention of making that today but while i'm doing this right you got a couple forges going here and while i'm doing this i'm also putting logs in this thing for planks i made a couple more storage containers in here you know i'm just storing stuff it's like if you manage your time properly it's not that bad honestly um there's work to be done but hey man it's a survival game it's got to be work to be done now i'm going to try my best no promises but i'm going to try my damnedest to get back to one of those pois today um one of the problem is one of the problems with the pois is there's a lot of loot and there is not a lot of bag space okay so how am i going to handle that well I'm going to have to go kill crocodiles at some point. And there's also, I think you need to make the, some kind of, yeah, you need to make the loom. And I don't have the tech yet. All right. Uh, I need the loom. For, I need the tech for the loom, the chemistry station. Um, it doesn't look like you need any tech for any of the storage things. Um, you get, I'm going to need the tech for all this stuff. Well, just these three items. And I think that's it. Oh, I need the tech for the fridge. Okay. Uh, I need the tech for the metal stove, too. Okay. What about the stove that keeps you warm in the winter? Okay, you don't need the tech for that. Okay. Um, I need the tech for the oil extractor. Thank God you don't need it for the mineral extractor. Uh, yeah. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about was when I was at that POI, like, I wasn't really getting, like, any tech. I got, like, one piece. But I didn't finish the POI. And the POI is going to take a lot of time. Uh, the thing is, I can make um, a backpack upgrade. But I believe you need the loom for it because you need to... Oh, you don't need the loom for it. I thought you needed the loom to make... Oh, craft on the loom. It says right there. Okay, yeah. So you need the loom to make the large backpack. So until we get the, um, the you know, the loom uh, recipe schematic, there's nothing to look at right now as far as the backpack goes. That's a bit of a bummer. The only good thing is the POI that I go to is, is really close to my house. I can get up there real quick. I can get up there real quick, so it's not going to be an issue. Not going to be an issue at all. We already have four iron ingots. Once we get this box full, we can make an oil... We can make... Not an oil extractor, but we can make an extractor. Uh, we could probably put down the extractor right now. I don't see any reason not to. Uh, mineral, mineral extractor. And I don't know if it's supposed to go in a certain place. I think that's a fine place to put it. I kind of like to put it over here, honestly. Uh, how about like this? Okay, beautiful. Okay, and now we can put some planks in that thing, because my plank thing is getting full. This thing it won't make any more planks. See, I can't even put it on there, because there's no room. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of planks off there, and we're going to put that on there and keep producing planks. And we're going to put eight planks in there, and then we just need the iron ingots. Now, the oil extractor runs off of... Um, hold on, i got to put more... Hmm, how do I want to do this? Yeah, let's just let's just use the firewood. We need to get these, uh, these things... You know need to keep going for quite a while good all right good uh, they're not going they did they run out can't start a fire wait what am i missing why aren't they no really what am i i must be missing something here hold on what the hell can't start a fire while it's oh wait first of all it's not raining but i get what you're saying and that's fine let's put a roof on this thing Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. It's not raining, though, but that's okay. Uh, I get the whole idea. So, yeah, that's cool, man. You can't be uh, having a fire going in the rain. Makes, you know, makes total sense. Can't argue with that. So, we're going to do that, and now we should be able to get this going. The only thing that's weird is it's not raining. But let's just pretend it's raining. All right, so that's going, and that's going. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see what we need to... Let's see if we can find what we need to power 
the extractor. There's a couple different ways to power it. Uh, now this is totally new to me, so I'm not really sure what I would need to power it. There's obviously biofuel. Uh, it can be crafted on the workbench using... Oh, well, there you go. That's the first thing we're going to use is biofuel. The other thing you could use is oil can, but I can't get the oil cans yet because I don't have the extract the oil extractor because I don't have the recipe for it. So it looks like we're looking at biofuel. And in order to do biofuel... Oh, can you burn food? I don't think you can. Anyway, in order to do biofuel, um, we need to find food that's going to spoil um, quickly. So uh, we do need spoiled food for that biofuel and quite a bit of it. What spoils quick? I think fruits and vegetables spoil quick, but the problem is I'm probably going to want that stuff. Let's see how fast fish meat spoils because I honestly don't know. If it's like two hours, then it's no good. If it's like a half hour, then that's fine. Uh, okay. Oh, a half hour. Beautiful. Okay. I'll just catch a bunch of fish. Okay. Still doing our thing here. Um, I think while that stuff's cooking up, I am going to make myself some plant beds. Um, placeable food right there. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just put these back here. Seems like an okay spot for them right now. Uh, we'll put down, uh, six for now. Okay, these will take a while to make, but that's okay. Um, I do want to get stuff planted. Uh, now that stuff's going to have to be moved inside before. I'm going to have to have plant beds inside, and I'm going to need 10 iron ingots to make a, 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 a warming stovey thingy. Uh, let's, let's see what it's called. Uh, we're going to have to make a coal heater, for sure. Uh, we already have a piece of coal, which is nice. And um, I, can get a, I can get more coal than extractor, I'm imagining. I'm not really 100% sure on where I get the coal now from, but if I had to guess, I would imagine it would be an extractor. Alright, so we're going to need a lot more planks. You go through a lot of planks in this game, man. A lot of freaking planks. Now, the cool thing with these uh, plant beds outside is they will get rained on, and that way they will be um, uh, hydrated without me having to do anything, which is great. So we're going to take that and... That is raw fish. Yep, we're going to let that raw fish go bad. I got to do some more fishing. The thing is, I heard a wolf over there, and I really don't want to deal with it right now. Um, you know, so. Uh, we already have some biofuel, too, which is which is really, really nice. I don't remember what the hell I came over here for. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, we need some seeds. Okay, so. Watermelon's good for carbohydrates, obviously. Oh, seeds don't go in the food thing. All right. That's good for carbohydrates. Uh, melon seeds are good for carbohydrates. Corn seeds are good for vitamins. And cucumbers are good for vitamins and hit points. So cucumbers are going to be important. It's basically how we're going to get our hit points back. Uh, you know, at this stage of the game. So let's go ahead and take our iron ingots out. That's eight iron ingots of 20. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's taking some time, but it's very doable. And honestly, I don't feel it very grindy. It feels kind of pleasurable, to be honest. Um, so that's cool. All right. So I'm thinking watermelon seed first and we need some more of this stuff, which I already have. My inventory is a little bit busy, but that's okay. Just got to keep these uh, planks going. So let me uh, continue cooking stone, plant some uh, crops and I'm going to have to make this base a little bit bigger. I really want to go to the POI today. We just might not get to it. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. Dude, I love the early game so much more after this update this this feels like real deal survivor survival you know like on one hand i just want to go check out the pois and skip all the survival stuff and blah 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 but that's not that's not the way you want to do things right so what i'm doing is i'm dealing with the survival i don't think we're going to go to the poi today i think we're going to concentrate on getting our survival uh up to snuff and we will definitely go to the pois tomorrow uh, my main thing today is to get this mineral extractor up and honestly so it's, it's the thing i'm most interested in and i'll bet you it's the thing you guys are most interested in as well at this point um yeah so i've got a lot of iron here to cook up uh but i might need another stone run i'm not really sure we'll just kind of have to see how things go i'm going to split this in half put 10 in there Put another 10 in there. Keep these things going so I don't have to relight them. Uh, the next one through, I should be able to start uh, cooking up iron, which will be fantastic. I've got a little back thing here. I'm going to make I'm gonna make this a two-story building. The second story is going to be the farm uh, that I'm going to plan for the winter. And, yeah, I mean, we're looking good, man. We're looking good. The, this When I first played this game, it didn't really feel like survival um, in the beginning, you know? It was kind of just like... 
I mean, it really never felt like hardcore survival until that winter thing started. And then it started feeling like more hardcore. When I lost all my crops, I was worried that I was going to, like, you know, die. And that was hardcore, okay? Um, the Zambies at the POIs are pretty cool. We will eventually have base attacks, although he didn't touch the combat, as far as I can tell. So the combat still kind of, you know, needs some work. Let's just say it needs some it needs some work. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm a patient man. I've been playing early access games for almost 10 years now. And I prefer them. You know? Yeah, they're not fully fleshed out. But, you know, what? you always got you got these updates to look forward to, man. Like, these, these freaking dope-ass updates. And this update's made it better. I'm having a great time. Let me, guys, I know you're probably playing this game. Let me know what you think about the early game now. Do you enjoy it more or less? than the first time you played it. I mean, maybe this is the first time a lot of you guys are playing this, but if you did play it in the beginning, do you enjoy it more or less now in the early game? Because originally I was like, oh man, like this is going to be tough. This is going to be a grindy slog in the beginning. It's not. It's a fun grind. It's just, it's so hard to explain. I think you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, we're going to do another round of stones. And then I'm going to have to go out and get stones as well. But... This will be the last round of stones we have to do. And then we will be making some uh, iron. Will it be enough? We have uh, eight, six. No, it won't be enough. But it's it's close. It's going to be close to enough. I'm going to have to go in and get more iron for sure. Uh, and there's all my meat. Um, do I want to cook a few of these? Yeah, I think I will. I think uh, we'll put... Mm, yeah. We'll cook... Uh, let's cook four of these. Let's cook four of these up. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some more stone. Man, I love me some rainstorms. Whether it's in a video game, in real life. Um, I just love rain. Although, I gotta be honest. Like, lately. Not lately. Like, the past ten years or so. Uh, when it rains, my allergies act up really badly. So, it kind of it kind of dampens the mood a little bit. No pun intended exactly. But, yeah. I do love the rain. And I'm getting a lot of work done here. It's almost nighttime. I have to go to bed soon. Uh, but I am getting a lot of work done. Nope. Nope, not like that. Put that down. Come over here. And we are just about done with these. And I think one more set of stone will give us the iron we need uh, to make the extractor. And I'm still going to be cooking iron. I'm still going to be cooking stone after that. It's just, um, you know, I have what I need for the, for the time being. We're just going to throw that stuff in there. And this stuff's all raining. Oh, the watermelon's done. Do I need watermelon? Not really. Any protein, fats, vitamins. Okay, vitamins, that's corn. So let's go ahead and harvest the corn. And corn gives us 10 vitamins each. Beautiful. And the cucumbers will give us that as well. I'm going to hold off on the cucumbers, though, because I'm going to use the cucumbers. By the way, G brings up your health and stamina on the bottom there. And, uh, yeah, um, I say the cucumbers for health, basically. All right, so I do have the, the roof done here. And I have this little area right here that I'm going to finish. Once I finish this, I'm going to break out the wall. And then I will be able to get on the roof. I just don't want to break out the wall until it's ready. And it's getting a little dark here. So let's kind of get this done. So I, I don't like making dark videos. So I'm going to finish up these walls. And then I'm going to break out that wall so I can get on the roof. Okay, so I went ahead and made a workbench. So that way when I get three spoiled food, I can turn it into fuel for the extractor. And... I know I sound like a broken record, guys, but I gotta call it the way I see it. This is this early game is, is phenomenal. Like I'm having an unbelievably good time, just kind of surviving, playing a, playing survival. You know, uh, make no mistake, we're gonna we're gonna hit that POI up uh, tomorrow for sure. But man, am I having a great time! I also need to figure out where I'm gonna do cobalt. Uh, I'm gonna need another mineral. I'm gonna need another extractor um, for cobalt. As a matter of fact. Instead of using this extractor here for copper, I should probably use it for cobalt, considering I already have some copper. But I think copper is still going to be more important than cobalt in the long run. Uh, just taking a quick look at the recipes, like I did. Uh, also, I don't know where to get cobalt. So, we're just going to leave it right here. I mean, well, I already placed it down, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But All right. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of planks, because I've got a special thing I'm going to be making for you guys that I haven't mentioned to you yet. Uh, and I didn't plan on doing it until I realized it's within my power. So, it's gonna be awesome. That's all I gotta say. By the way, I can come up here now, and this will be for a farm. You know what I'm thinking, guys? I'm thinking I'm going to make a... a footprint base. It's a footprint base, okay? And what a footprint base is, is I will make 
two by threes all over this valley. Two by three there, a two by three here, two by three there. I'm not sure how far apart or what I'm going to do with it, but I'm thinking two by threes and then I'll build them up too, too high and then I'll connect it all on the top. So it'd be like an animal. Think of an animal, like a dog or something. It has its footprints, its paw, its paws on the ground, but the whole base is going to be off the ground. I think that could be pretty neat. Um, hopefully I remember to do it. <laughs> and but Usually when I talk about it, I remember. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to need a lot of planks. I'm going to need a lot of planks. Because what I'm going to be doing today, the other thing I wanted to check out more than anything in the whole wide world, is the chest track. Okay. Um, I just don't know where to put it. I guess we could put it outside for now. I'm assuming I could move it. Um, it's a little too big. To, well, actually, it's not too big to put in here if I kind of pick those chests up. Yeah, let's pick those chests up and see if we could fit that right in that corner there. Okay, beautiful. And let's see if we can fit it in there. I don't know if it's too, you know, enclosed or whatnot, but... Oh, oh, oh there you go. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to need 40 planks for this freaking thing, though. As well as six pieces of iron. You know what? Why don't we just put it... Why don't we finish the extractor right now and use that to get more iron as we're doing our... As we're doing our thing. As we're, as we're laying down our thing here. Uh, at least I'm assuming it's going to get iron. I have no idea. I'm really excited to see how the extractors work. So, that's what I'm going to do. There we go. The extractor is done. Power on and off. You could do it a stone only if you so choose. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to get iron out of there. Although I don't really know for sure. Um, I should have a little bit of fuel for it right off the bat. Because we found some when we went exploring. So we've got some. Can you use coal for that? Dude, if I can use coal for that, I'll just do that. I don't think I can. I'm almost positive I can't. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, there we go. A little bit. Quarter. Hey, man. 25%. That's not too bad. So there we go. And I'm hoping this gets me iron. I don't know what it's going to get. Iron iron ore or iron fragments. Probably iron fragments. Iron ore would be pretty powerful. I'm not going to say no to some iron ore. But I don't expect it. Alright, so let's go ahead and put some planks in here. There we go. And it's looking pretty good now. It's looking pretty good. We just need to, um, we need to get more spoiled food. Is what we need. Um, let's take a look. Oh, beautiful. We have some spoiled food. Cool. So now you take the spoiled food up here. And one, two, three. One, two, three. That's all we can do. Um, do we need to eat that watermelon? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go ahead and eat some fish as well. Some more watermelon. And let's wash it down with a drink. Oh, we're, we're, we're thriving, people. We're not just surviving. We are thriving. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I do want to catch some more fish, though. Because I want to keep that thing going. But there's just so much to do. Just so much to do. It's awesome. By the way, I put my, I put my bed under the stairs like freaking Harry Potter and shit. So, <laughs> that was pretty fun. Sleeping under the stairs. Sure, why not? Why not? Just kind of working with what we got here. All right, so I'm going to put this in there. Put that in there. I'll put that in there as well. We'll hold on to the stone. Probably going to need some more stone. I'm really curious to see what this thing's going to drag up for me. I mean, it takes five minutes, so an iron ore actually might not be too OP. If it drags up an iron ore, I think that's... I think it's reasonable, considering it takes five minutes. Okay, cool. All right, so what else will we be doing here? Uh, we're working on this. That's right. Keep those planks coming. I want to make the real plank station. But I can't because I need cobalt. Uh, this one right here. I want to make um, the circular saw bench. But I'm going to need two cobalt for that. So I think next episode I'm going to be looking for a an area where there's going to be cobalt. And are, oh, that's another thing I need to ask. Are these, anywhere you see these hammer things, that's an area you could put down an extractor. So I'm going to need another 20 iron, by the way. Um... But I wonder if these are randomized or if they're the same every time. I'll bet you they're the same every time. I should probably ask on, on um, Discord. So I, I don't have to waste my time looking for it. I could go where I know it's going to be. Save me some time, right? All right. Can't jump with this. I don't like the way that door opens up. I'm probably going to redo that at some point. Because it's just, you know, the way it opens up out like that sucks. 
Okay, and we'll just put those right there. And, all right, let's get this thing done. So, the mineral extractor, or whatever it's called. Is it called the mineral extractor? I want to call it by its proper name. Uh, yes, the mineral, the mineral extractor only gave me stone. It wasn't working properly. Uh, so, I'm thinking maybe it wasn't in the exact right area. Because, like I said, it's got to be in the right area for you to get what you're supposed to be getting from it. Um, it worked twice and it gave me stone both times. Now, there's a little extract only stone option here. I'm 100% guaranteeing you that was not checked. Now, if you check that extract only stone, it doesn't take five minutes. It takes one minute. So, you can get like five stone. Actually, if it takes five minutes to get one ore and five stone over a minute each, that's the exact same amount of ore. Except you don't have to cook it if you do it this way. Anyway, um, yeah, remember remember in the beginning of the season, you know, uh, like last video, so long ago, right? Uh, remember when I broke up those boulders, they were giving me copper? That tells me I'm in a copper area. I should be getting copper from that thing. Uh, I don't know if there's any indicator in the game. I don't think there is. Um, but as far as like, oh, you're on the right spot or you're not on the right spot. So we're just going to kind of have to play around with it and see if we can get it to uh, do what it's supposed to do. Uh, some people, on, I was talking to people on Discord about it. Some people had the same problem I have. Other people didn't. So um, I'm thinking it was just in the wrong spot. At least that's what I'm hoping. All right. So we're going to go ahead and cook up this stuff. I'm going to get eight iron ingots worth of fragments here. And then we're going to cook all those up. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, we should be able to put all of these in here. 36 and 40 beautiful so now we're just waiting for the iron ingots and i will store these in here no nope, not that i want that by the way being able to alt right click you can alt right click back and forth now actually hold on that's one hold on oh weird alt alt left click oh so if you alt right click out it only clicks out one at a time Ooh, that's a bit annoying Okay, well, it's not perfect, but he's getting there. <laughs> he's getting there. Okay, so we're good there. And we should have our iron ingots shortly. And I'm really curious what this thing's going to do. Uh, let's take a look at our stats really quick. Uh, we need thirst, fats, and vitamins. So vitamins means corn. And I think that's going to give us some carbohydrates as well. Okay. And we need fats and protein. That is... That's our last piece of fish. Um, should we cook some more fish? I will cook some more fish, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, how are the rest of... Oh, yeah. Everything else is looking good. Maybe some more vitamins. Yeah, let's let's do the cucumber. Why not? Whenever it's raining, you want to, like, pick your plants because they're going to get watered again and grow. If you keep these things watered, they grow really fast. The problem is it takes forever to water them with this piece of crap flask. I can make better, but not yet. So we'll get into that eventually. All right, put that right there. And how are you looking? Five, five. I think one more set of stone and then two sets of iron and we will have eight iron ingots. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So I've just been informed by someone on Discord with a green name. I think they're a mod or something uh, with the way these extractors work. Okay, you're going to get a random or uh, you're not going to get a random ore. You're going to get the ore that is in the area. This is a copper area. But it's going to be random between coal, stone, and ore. Okay? And I was told that the ore comes in at a 2 to 1 ratio. So you should get more ore than anything else. But I'm still going to get coal. And I'm still going to get um, rocks. Ooh, we got to watch out for that bear. He will make me very sad. Unless I can kill him from up top. I don't have any ranged weapons though. All right, I'm going to ignore him and hope hope he goes away. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be tough, guys. It's going to be tough. I don't know how um, things have been balanced, but I have been looking at some of these recipes. And these recipes are, I believe, I, I could be wrong. I have a poor memory. But I'm looking at the loom and only takes two iron ingots. And those are the only two ores the loom is going to take. The chemistry table is only going to take two iron ingots. The advanced workbench, only two iron ingots and two copper. So I think he's balanced this stuff. And I think this stuff's going to be a lot cheaper than it used to be. So that, that's kind of my thought on the, the, of the my thought process. Um, let's take a look at the batteries. Okay, those batteries are exactly the same. So are the solar panels. But I think he doubled the amount of power that you get from the solar panels. So 
it's like it really the solar panels are like half what they used actually iron aluminum cobalt and 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 copper didn't that used to take more iron and now we're gonna have to do cobalt yeah so these things are still really expensive these things are still really expensive but other than that i don't think anything else oh god the oil extractor is really expensive well iron is not a problem cobalt's gonna be a problem aluminum's gonna be a big problem yeah I don't know. We'll see. I mean, the thing is, you never know how the balance is going to work until you play through the game. All I know is, right now, today, I'm having a fantastic time, and that's all I'm going to worry about. We'll see where things go from here. Uh, but I think we need to keep f spoiled food going for us, and we need to keep that extractor going as much as possible. And check it out. We now have a chest rack. So, you know what? I'm going to put this outside just because I want to. Um, let's just put it right here for now. And I'm also going to move this thing back over here because I don't. It doesn't matter where it is. By the way, I've had I've had this extractor get me four things so far. Not one of them was ore. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but we'll just have to see. All right, let's put the chest in this thing. I think I'm going to move this over here. And you might be wondering, what the hell are you moving all this stuff out here for, Cage? It's called a thumbnail, brah. <laughs> So let's put this stuff over here and there we go. Look at that. I love that. That is so effing cool So effing cool Okay, um, why isn't it going on the bottom now? That's kind of weird. Well, let's see let's see what we can do here. Who knows? Maybe my extractor's not in the right spot. Maybe I got to kind of play around with it. I don't know uh, Okay, so that's not really working. Oh, there we go And let's see if we can get the last one in there Oops. Let's see how this one goes. No, see that one's not working. Not really sure why not. Oh, hold on. Okay, and then we'll put this one in. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. Alright, so that thing's still powered on, so we're good there. Alright, you know what guys? I do think we're going to call this one here. I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. I'm, I'm thinking I'm missing stuff. I'm thinking that... Uh, the balance of the game is going to be a lot different than what I'm thinking it's going to be. The oil does not seem to be going down very quickly. So I think we're going to be okay. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.